This is the Storm Group Soviet Infantry box set for Enemy at the Gates in Flames of War. This is a separate product from the Soviet Rifle Company or SMG Company boxes. The Storm Group represents an experienced unit of hand-picked infantry, a far cry from the green and often untrained soldiers of other units. These were hard-hitting shock trips meant to smash through enemy lines, acting as the vanguard for a Soviet infantry attack. If we have a look at the back of the box, it contains eight flexible plastic infantry sprues and three unit cards. There are 68 figures in total. The assembled unit on the box shows one unit leader and one commissar team, both on small bases. There are six SMG teams, two flamethrower teams and two Maxim HMG teams on medium bases. PTRD teams and 50mm mortar teams are mounted on a large base, with enough figures for two of each. Let's look at the plastic. I know people have their own thoughts and preferences about flexible plastic figures. I'm not going to make any judgments about that. I'll review the figures supplied in the pack and give you an opportunity to make up your own mind. There's one of this sprue, BM-137, with 10 HQ and unit leader figures. This includes 8 officer or NCOs with SMGs, 1 officer figure with a pistol and bullhorn, I'm going to guess this is the commissar, and one officer with binoculars. Detail on these looks okay. Certainly there's detail on the faces and the PPSH submachine guns are quite recognisable. There's also one of Sprue SM-138, with nine SMG armed figures and a helmeted officer figure with a pistol. SM-139 is similar but with all ten figures armed with SMGs. One figure is pointing and another is throwing a grenade. BM-140 is pretty exciting. This is the flamethrower sprue. This has four SMG figures plus three kneeling mortar figures and three flamethrowers. There are two of these sprues in the box set. BM-141 is the Maxim machine gun sprue. This has two SMG figures, two loader figures feeding belted ammunition from a box, and two Maxim gunners. Each Maxim gunner is a two-part figure. One part is the torso and gun, while the other is the legs and wheeled gun carriage. These will need to be glued together. Lastly, there's BM-142, the PTRD anti-tank rifle sprue. Of the 12 figures on this sprue, six are SMG figures, while the other six are PTRD gunners. The AT gunners are standing or kneeling, there are no firing figures. This seems a bit of a shame, as firing figures always look more dramatic than soldiers just lugging their guns around. So that's the sprues in the box. As I said before, people have their own thoughts on soft plastic figures, but there is certainly a good variety of figures here and detail seems okay. Some firing PTRD gunners might have been nice, but all the other figures have a mix of walking and firing poses. Let's have a look at the unit cards you get. First up is the Storm Group card. This is an infantry unit. Their motivation is fearless at 3 plus. These are not raw conscripts, these are veteran assault troops. They get a 4 plus trained skill rating and a 2 plus assault. In close quarters, these troops have the firepower and will to do a lot of damage. They're hit on a 4 plus. This careful rating is much better than the aggressive rating of standard Soviet Rifle Company units, which are generally hit on threes. Storm Group platoons also have a 3 plus infantry save, more effective than 4 plus saves for rifle companies and penal companies. The weapon stat block starts with the PPSH SMG teams. These have a very short 4 inch or 10 centimetre range with a moving or halted rate of fire of 3. However, their pinned rate of fire is 1, so they're much less effective when they hit the dirt. The Maxim teams give a good firepower boost with a 24 inch or 60 centimetre range and a halted rate of fire of 6 and moving of 2. Best to have these stationary and pouring fire in to pin the enemy prior to an assault. Blitz moves might be useful here. AT is 2 with a firepower of 6. These are heavy weapons teams so they can't charge into contact. If assaulted they counter attack with an assault of 4 plus. The PTRD anti-tank rifles give the Storm Group limited anti-tank capability. Rate of fire is ok, 4 stationary and 2 on the move, but AT is 5 with a 5 plus firepower. Ok against light tanks and vehicles but increasingly less useful late in the war. These are also Assault 4 Plus Heavy Weapons teams, but they also get the No HE rule. In V4, this means a plus one to hit when shooting at infantry or gun teams. 
The 50mm mortar team gives some organic artillery, although the stats here indicate they're used in direct fire. The overhead fire rule means they can fire over friendly teams. Range is 16 inches or 40 centimetres. AT is 2 with a 4 plus firepower. Again, these are Assault 4 plus heavy weapon teams. The last listing in the stat block is for the optional flamethrower teams. These have a short 4 inch or 10 centimetre range, rate of fire 4 moving or stationary, with an AT of 2 and an automatic firepower. Hit someone with these and they're toast, literally. Their special rules are flamethrower, heavy weapon and a pinned rate of fire of 2. The flamethrower rule means infantry, gun and unarmoured tank teams must re-roll successful saves. Armoured tank teams use their top armour for saves against flamethrowers. Destroyed or not, any unit that's hit by flamethrowers is pinned down. If flamethrowers get up close to enemy teams, their targets will likely be crispy critters. Opponents must make sure to target these with defensive fire if possible. Storm groups are formation support options in both enemy at the gate and red banner formations. Five SMG teams, two Maxim HMG teams, a PTRD team and a mortar team is 16 points. For 19 points you can get the same with two additional SMG teams. Optional teams are an additional PTRD anti-tank rifle team for plus two points and up to two flamethrower teams at plus three points each. The flamethrowers are expensive but they are devastating in close quarters and that's the whole point of taking a storm group, to get in close. The other card you get is the Hero SMG Company card. This fields five or seven SMG teams and the Commissar. They lack the AT rifles, mortar and maxim options of the storm group. However, they do get flamethrowers. Their motivation is reluctant on 5+, plus and they are aggressive, making them easier to hit at 3+. Plus. But these are much cheaper to field at 4 points for five SMG teams and a Commissar, or 6 points for 7 SMG teams and a Commissar. While this is less effective, the low cost might make it an attractive option. Finally, there's the Scout Platoon card. This is a fearless, careful platoon made up entirely of SMG teams. They get the Scout and Spearhead rules, allowing them to stay hidden and expand a player's deployment zone. A 5 SMG team Scout Platoon is 7 points, 7 teams is 10 points, and 9 is 13 points. So that's the Storm Group box set from Flames of War for the Red Banner and Enemy at the Gates Forces books. You get a few options to build this as a Scout Platoon, SMG Platoon or Storm Group. The Storm Group makes best use of all the different figure and weapon types here. They are soft plastic figures with the chunky detail required to cast in this material. There is a decent variety of poses and detail is generally okay. The Storm Group is an elite unit with decent stats that can give Soviet players some serious punch, especially at close range in assault supported by mortars, machine guns and flamethrowers. The fearless motivation and careful 4 plus to hit rating and 3 plus infantry save makes these a cut above normal Soviet infantry. They should prove challenging for opponents to handle, but they do cost a lot more points to put on the table. But if you're a Russian player who likes to get in close to assault, taking the Storm Group as a support option might well be worth it. Thanks to Blitz and Pieces for supplying this kit for review. Their support is helping Fog of War continue to review a wide range of new Flames of War kits. By the time this video is released, the 10% discount for Fog of War viewers will have closed, but congratulations to everyone who took advantage of this offer. Hopefully we can partner with Blitz and Pieces again in the future.